What's up guys, it is muzzleloader deer season here in Colorado. I'm up in the high country. I hiked up here after work. Um, just got my camp set up. I got my little two person Cabela's back, uh, backpack and backcountry tent up. I'm about three miles from the trailhead um, at the bottom of one of these basins. I climbed up and uh, as it was getting dark, I was able to glass two of the lower basins, didn't see any deer, found some elk. Um, but yeah, gonna uh, get up in the dark uh, to the summit of this mountain I'm below and I should be able to see three or four basins from there pretty well. Hoping to find a big old buck up in the high country here. Uh, I'm really excited to be able to, to shoot something with the muzzleloader. I just got off a 14 day uh, mule deer hunt in, in, in Utah with the bow. Had a lot of really close chances, was chasing one specific giant buck. Could not connect, um, but it was a good time and I got my, my butt kicked. He was a worthy adversary and now I'm ready to put one down. Um, gonna be a little picky, but not too picky. Looking for a mainframe five by five and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's get it. Opening morning, I got up on the peak behind that peak, and I've been working this ridge all morning, just glassing, glassing, glassing. I glassed out six different basins so far this morning. Have not seen a single deer. Um, heard some elk bugling. That was cool, first bugle of the year. And I ran into the guy who has the goat tag for this unit. So it's like perfect mule deer habitat up here. Green high basins. Kind of, you know, right where the evergreens kind of thin out, and there should just be deer everywhere, and I have not seen one. I, there is a an early rifle tag in September for this area, and I think maybe the hunters that came up kind of got them spooked out into the trees or what, but it's kind of a bummer. Like, I like mule deer hunting everywhere, but the main reason I do it is to hunt the high country so if I can't hunt the high country that's a bummer man I'm gonna keep after it until it gets a little warmer here and then drop down and go through the trees back down to where my camp is so I keep after it here
baby. Hell yeah. <clears throat> he didn't make it far at all. <clears throat> the meadow right there. Right there. 50 yards. He just came straight downhill and toppled over. I just never heard him crash because there's no trees here. Just about to start shedding. You can see that's cut right there. His uh, tip right here is actually coming through already. But Pretty, pretty good, pretty intact. That's a good buck, he's nice and tall. Honestly, couldn't see him very well through the trees. I just knew he was a four point on top. Got set up, um, it turns out there wasn't another deer with him. I reviewed the footage used by himself, but he's a good deer, he's tall, not very wide. He's got really uh, long eye guards actually for a muley and he's still in full velvet. That's what I was looking for. I love my velvet bucks, man. <clears throat> for a tag I picked up on the left over list. Not a bad opening morning. Heck yeah. There's the entrance hole right there. It's a little high um, behind the shoulder, which is good. I actually couldn't see his front shoulder at all if you saw in the video the bush is right here. So I basically snuck it in right next to the bush. It was just a little bit high. But from a sliding down a hill seated position, not a bad shot. If you guys are looking for good muzzleloader bullets, make sure Use those federal bore locks, man. If you can't use a sabotage bullet like we can't here in Colorado, those federal bore locks, they do a really freaking good job. <laughs> um, yeah, even though it hit them a little high, must have caught top lungs, uh, those bullets actually open up. The thing I've run into with other muzzleloader bullets is they just don't open, so. Heck yeah, I'm gonna go hike back, grab the pack, and uh, get to work on this bad boy. Heck yeah, I cashed in five points for a muzzleloader antelope tag this year, so I'm about to go scout for that tag. I have to go to Washington, D.C. actually in two days to go do some public land lobbying, so that should be a fun trip, but yeah, I said the first 5x5 five five with velvet I saw was going to get it, and here he is. It's a good buck, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, make sure you click that like button. And click subscribe. We have a ton of big game hunts left this year. Man, I am just so thankful. So thankful for this little deer. Our freezer's empty from last year, so it's uh, time to start filling it again. So. Man, the misery and happiness of a pack out. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys. Pack out update. This is awful. This is all deadfall. Steep as shit. I'm just side hill the whole way. And this pack is so heavy. I'm about a third of the way and I'm dead already. Oh my god.